So we're on our way now to the KTM dealer to pick up the 2020 KTM 390 Adventure Bike. Just around the corner is the dealer ship. Here we are. Just here now, the KTM dealership to pick up the 390 Adventure Bike. So there's the bike. Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel. Just picked up this 2020 adventure bike and the 390cc. So far, pretty happy with the bike. Really think it's a great looking bike. So we'll just have a bit of a look around of it. Only two things I've got to do before I get out and take it for a quick test run. There's one, I'll have to fit the mirrors because naturally they wouldn't fit in the van when I brought it home, so I had to remove the mirrors. Two, I have to work out getting it insured too, so that'd be a very smart idea before I jump on this and take it for a run. But apart from that, a uh, little bit of history. Nine months back I bought the KDM 390 Duke. The only uh, problem I had with that bike was the sort of drop down riding position. So I think I only rode from memory 43 kilometres on that bike and it just wasn't suitable for me. So I decided to do, uh, give that idea a miss. So this is my second hit of the KDM and I find the upright riding position or sitting position. I've never actually ridden this bike. Uh, more to my liking. And apart from that, I really think this is a great looking bike. So I do expect to put up quite a few videos on this bike so if you're interested now would be the time to think about subscribing to the channel because I'm sure I will have some good content on this bike. Now if you look back at the 390 Duke I had the upgraded version the one I had so that particular one 390 Dukes were known to have a little bit of fan noise and cooling issues but the one I had did have the upgraded fan but on the 390 Adventure they've gone one step further and now if we can see it they've got the big the huge curved band in it so if we go to the front of the bike and look in i think we can maybe get a look at that big radiator we've got there now and more importantly hopefully to help it we've got dual fans so we've got one fan on this side and we've got another fan sitting out on this side here now one thing I might point out to you, where I live in central west New South Wales, the cooling side of fans going on and off doesn't really worry me a great deal because that's probably in some areas, in some places where traffic lights are a problem. But I can honestly say when I jump on a bike here, if I'm going to run into a traffic light, the chances are it'll be one and one only, and in most cases zero. So I can get on this bike and ride on these bikes 50 or 100 kilometres in all directions and never run into a traffic light. So as far as these heat overheating or anything like that, I probably won't experience any problems in that line because I've got nowhere to get it into a problem. Now I never actually asked the dealer to uh, for a test drive on this particular bike. So I don't really know if they took it for a run. So we'll turn her on and check. So we glide her up and on the clock there is now, it appears 10 kilometres. So I'm in neutral so we might as well start it for the first time too and see how that goes. Oh yeah, runs into a nice little quiet idle. 
nothing too exciting but I never bought it for the excitement of the idol I bought it for just a good all-round bike and uh, one thing I'm happy about is a nice flat orange paintwork but, uh, yeah, there's no complaints on the whatsoever so okay guys now have the mirrors on the bike so that part's ready to go all I've got to do now is get the insurance on it which I'll line up later on this afternoon the only thing I did ask the dealer to do was I read reports where these bikes ride pretty hard so I just asked him to adjust the preload to the outright softer setting so I can try it out on that softer setting on the uh, first run and if I've got any complaints then I can always go up through the range rather than get caught up not knowing where I am because I have no real experience with these sort of bikes anyway so I figured try on the uh, outright lower setting work my way up if I have to just see what happens from there but starting from tomorrow I will get out and give this bike a workout and see where it goes and give you all an opinion what I think of this bike as I run through the cycles. Catch you later.